2021, it's almost summer and it's almost uh, half year. It's hard to believe how fast time is flying. So I know Aggie is here. Hi, Aggie. So let's just start the practice as always with a little short pranayama. I'm waking up still. Inhale and arms up. Up of the lungs, hold it for two seconds. <clears throat> and exhale. Again, inhale. Hold. And exhale. And once more, inhale. Hold. And exhale. All right, inhale, arms up. And as we exhale, turn to the right, gentle twist. And inhale back. And exhale left. And inhale back. And exhale right palm to the floor. Look over the left arm. A little stretch. Oh yeah, feels good. And inhale back. Exhale left. Look over the right arm. And now inhale back. And I'm going to go right again. Just a little deeper. You adjust the depth. I usually go on my elbow. <clears throat> and always complain about it. Interesting that the left side doesn't hurt as much as the right. Alright, inhale back. It's not really hurt, it's just a little stretch. And left. But the, definitely the right is tighter. <clears throat> and inhale back. And let's leave the arms out, small circles to the front. <clears throat> and backward. And now bend the elbows, close the backbones behind and pull the palms to the front. Open, close the backbones, pull them to the front. Open, close the backbones once more and pull them to the front. And open the palms toward the floor and up and down. Up and once more and up. Palms on the knees, shoulder circles to the front. And backward. And now both to the front. And both backward. Okay, interlace the fingers behind, sit up straight. <clears throat> Only if the shoulders don't hurt, a little shoulder stretch. Don't force it. And undo the fingers, interlace them above, palms inside out, sit up straight, and very gentle, lean to the right, don't overdo it, and back and left, and back, undo the fingers, and let's warm up the neck, look down at the belly button, roll the head around. And that's, oh, that's when I disclose in my class. Please listen to your body one more round here. Oh, I strained my neck a little bit working on a computer. Oh, and it hurts. Opposite direction, looking up on my bifocal. Oh, God, it's really painful. Okay, one more round here. Okay, let's go up on our fours. To warm up the back, it's always cats and cows with me. Arms are shoulder wide, legs are hip wide. Inhale into cat. And exhale, cow. Again, inhale, cat. And down to cow. And now as we inhale into cat, Let's figure the tail a little bit. 
and down to curl. And once more, cat. Wiggle the tail. And back to curl. Let's curl the toes and push up to down facing dog. Oh yeah. Take your time gradually ease into the position. Okay, I think I'm getting there. And let's just bend the right knee. Feel the stretch on the left side. A few more seconds to adjust. All right, I think I'm there. Stay in the right knee and bend the left knee. And, and straight in the left knee. Both legs are straight. Walk or hop toward the arms and forward fold. Again, that's a big stretch. My sinuses are getting filled. Yeah, a few more seconds here to adjust. All right, give me a few more seconds. I'm a little more tight this morning. All right, I think we can start. So let's just pull the tummy in. Inhale. And arms up, arms together, a little back bend, and palms to the heart. Okay, let's have one half salute and one full sun salutation to warm up here. Inhale, and arms up. Exhale, fold, really strong core, pull the tummy in. Inhale, straighten the back. Exhale, fold. And pull the tummy in. Inhale, and arms up. Palms together, a little back bend. And palms to the heart. Okay, full sun salutation. Inhale, and arms up. Exhale, fold. Don't forget your core. Inhale, straighten the back. Exhale, forward. Inhale, look up, step back with the right leg. And get used to the stretch here. A few more seconds. And left leg, plank. Strong plank, we can put the knees down for Chaturanga or just follow me. Lord, upper body. Mini cobra. Up dog. Curl the toes and down dog. Step to the front with the right leg. And now we'll get used to the stretch here. And roll on the right heel and bring the left leg along and fold and pull the tummy in. Inhale and arms up. Arms together, a little back bend and arms to the heart. Okay, high lunge. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold again, strong core, don't forget. Inhale, straight on the back. Exhale, forward. Inhale, look up, step back with the right leg. Stay high on the right toes, right palm is on the floor. And lift up the left one, try to look at it. Easy to say. And left arm comes down. Find the balance for high lunge. 
in high lunge. Now straighten the front knee, elbows to the side. Five times, that was two, three, four, and five. Palms together, twist over the left knee. And back in high lunge. Palms are on the floor. Right knee is on the floor. And low lunge. And palms on the floor. Curl the right toes. And move the left leg back. Down facing dog. And again, we can stay here or have Chaturanga with me. There. Yeah, lift up the right leg. Bring it to the front. Stay high on the left toes. Left palm is on the floor. Lift up the right one, try to look at it. And right arm comes down. Let's find the balance for high lunge here. And high lunge. Straighten the front knee. Elbows to the side. Five times. This is three. Four. And palms together, twist over the right knee this time. And back in high lunge. Palms are on the floor, left knee is on the floor. Point the fit, foot. And low lunge. And palms on the floor. Curl the left toes and move the right leg back. Down facing dog. And again we can wait here. We have a quick little chaturanga in the front. And lift up the right leg. Bend the knee. Stacks up the uh, and straighten the leg, the hips, and bring it to the front. And left heel is down. Four warrior two. And let's start with warrior two. Knees above ankle, outside edge of the feet are parallel with the mat or something. Warrior two, <coughs> right palm up and reverse. And back to the center, right elbow over right knee. And back to the center, reverse it again. And back to the center. Right elbow, right knee, look over the left arm, and back to the center. Straighten the front leg, left hip goes to the left. Reach over the right leg for triangle. Look over the left arm. And left arm comes down and move the right leg back. Down facing dog. And again we can wait here or have a chaturanga with me. A little more cardio and upper body. There. 
lift up the left leg. Bend the knee. A few more seconds. And straighten and bring it to the front. And right heel is done for warrior two. And we'll do the sequence on the left side. And let's find a nice balanced step here too. <clears throat> and left palm up and reverse. And back to the center. Left elbow over left knee. And back to the center. Reverse it again. And back to the center. Left elbow next to the left knee. And back to the center. Straighten the front leg for triangle. Right hip goes to the right. Reach over the left leg. Look over the right arm. Triangle. And right arm comes down. And move the left leg back. Down facing dog. And one more chaturanga. And let's do the reverse triangle, lift up the right leg, bring it to the front, left heel is done for warrior two for a split second. And straighten the front leg. Now if you need a block, position it to the outside of the right foot, arms up, left arm comes to the front and it lands to the outside of the right foot. Try to look up the right arm. It's easy to say with my strained neck. It's probably good for it. And right arm comes down and move the left arm inside. Move the right leg back and down facing dog. Now lift up the left leg and bring it to the front. Right heel is down for warrior two. But just for a split second and we straighten the leg arms up this time the right arm comes to the outside of the left foot either on the block or on the floor look over the left arm and left arm comes down move the right arm inside and move the left leg back down facing dog. Whew. Okay, I think that's gonna be the last chaturanga today. <clears throat> Let's do it nice and slowly. Oh, girl, the toes and down, down. And as we inhale, let's move the knees down to the floor. Point the feet. Now lift up the right leg, really strong core here. Pull the tummy in. And left arm. Five crunches, slowly. One. And hold. Two. And hold. Three. And hold. Four. And last. And let's reach back. Extra stretch here. And release the leg. Arm goes down. And right leg goes down. Let's have one cat. It's going to recess the lower back. And lift up the left leg. 
against strong core. Right arm. Five crunches. And hold. Two. And hold. Three. Four. Five. And now let's reach back for the extra stretch here. And release the leg. <clears throat> Arm goes down. And left leg goes down. One cat. And let's go down on the elbows. <clears throat> and lift up the leg. 20 kicks. One. Ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and twenty. Left leg. One, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And 20. Okay, let's curl the toes and go up to down facing dog. And as we inhale, walk or hop toward the arms, forward fold. Oh, yeah. Hmm. And that's when I do the deeper stretch by stepping on my fingers under the heels. I do the reverse, I mean I do a shoulder stand today, so this is really good to prepare for it. So pull the head closer to the shins. 20 seconds here. And take the fingers away, interlace them behind. Only if the shoulders don't hurt when you do this. A little shoulder stretch. And undo the fingers. Oh, pull the tummy in. Inhale and arms up. Arms together a little back. And palms to the heart. Okay, let's have one, just one chair today. So, inhale, arms up. <clears throat> and uh, to chair. Weight goes on the heels so we can move the toes. Pull the tummy in. And palms together, at least over the right knee. And back to the center. Left knee and back to the center and fold. Hmm. And now pull the tummy in, inhale and arms up, palms together, the back bend and arms to the heart. Let's turn <clears throat> little gap between the feet, the arms up. And grab the left wrist, pull the body to the right, already strong core here, pull the tummy in. And back, switch hands, and left. And back, now palms together, <clears throat> stretch up straight, big inhale. And turn to the right, really strong core here. And back to the center. Again, stretch up straight, big inhale. And left. Really strong core here too. And back to the center. And arms down. 
big step between the feet and feet are parallel or pigeon and arms up and forward halfway through keep the arms out for a few seconds and now let's reach down grab the outside edge of the feet 20 seconds here in each position well I forgot to count so it's about right left palm is under front under the left shoulder if you need a block you can use a block here <clears throat> and lift up the right one and try to look at it it's a good neck stretch and neck strengthening and we can stay here or move the right arm and grab the left thigh and pull the head to the right 20 seconds here too And left palm is back on the floor. If it wasn't there, right one lifts. Right one is done. Fold once again. And now the right palm is back on the floor. And lift up the left one. Again, we can stay here or move the left, grab the right thigh and pull the head to the left. 20 seconds here. And right palm is back on the floor. Left one lifts, left one is down, and forward once more. My right thigh is a little stretchier than the left, but not as bad as it used to be. So that's good progress here. And now push up and bend the right knee, be careful, walk over to the right. <clears throat> and straighten the right knee and walk over to the left and bend the left one and straighten the left leg and walk the feet closer to each other for prayer squat and prayer squat And this is my little attempt for crow and move the knees together to balance and palms at the hips and stand up a few steps on the toes and let's do balancing I will do my tush strengthening series that I'll do lately again. <clears throat> Inhale, arms up. And let's step on the left foot and lift out the right one just from the hips for about 7 10 seconds. And forward over. And palms on the floor. And you can stay here or have five curtsies with me. Watch your left knee. Two. Three. Four. And five. And right leg down. And fold. And pull the tummy. Inhale and arms up. 
Full of bad band. And poems to the heart. <clears throat> so, the other side. Arms up and we step on the right foot and lift up the left one from the hips. And forward. And palms on the floor. And five curtsies. Watch your right knee. Mine just popped. Three. Four and five. And left leg down and fold. And inhale and arms up. <coughs> Little back bend. Okay, let's go. <coughs> and inhale and arms up. And fold. And walk out to the front. <clears throat> Strong plank. And lower the body to the floor. And forehead is on the floor. Palms are next to the chest. Toes together. Legs are straight. And lift up the arms. And lift up the head. <clears throat> And three, two, one. <sighs> Left ear is on the mat. Mat. <sighs> and turn the head. Palms are next to the chest. Cobra this time. Inhale. And push up. <coughs> Elbows are close to the chest. Shoulders away from the ears. Do not lock the elbows. Cobra. We had a math teacher we called Cobra in middle school. And three, two, one. Right ear is on the mat. And turn the head. And uh, just let's do one more. Bend the knees. Grab the heels. And as we inhale, lift up. And roll on the tummy. And release the legs. Palms are next to the chest. Curl the toes. And push up. Toes together, knees wide, extended child. To relax the back. And pull the palms closer to the knees and push up. And I do the core. Now, <clears throat> so let's go down on the elbows. Curl the toes and push up. A couple of dolphins. And two. It's already strong core here, don't forget. And we'll stay parallel with the floor. 40 seconds or less. As soon as you feel uncomfortable, just put the knees down. A really strong core. Pull the tummy in. Any more seconds? And ten seconds. And three, two, one. And knees are on the floor. Again, <clears throat> toes together, knees wide. Oh, another extended child. Hmm. 
and pull the palms close to the knees and push up. <clears throat> Let's bring the feet to the front. Who's calling me? And let's straighten the legs. Take the muscles away from the sitting bones and inhale and arms up. And grab the big toes and pull the head closer to them gradually. Take your time. 20 seconds here. And sit up and let's have a couple of reverse blanks. I just, just good for us. And back on the floor. And right away counter stretch it. And sit up and let's do the second reverse plank. And back on the floor. And right away we counter stretch it. And sit up, bend the knees. And <clears throat> lift up the leg for a boat. <clears throat> few more seconds <clears throat> really strong core pull the tummy in and lift up the leg straighten the leg and bend the knees hug them to the chest and arms out and slowly lie back down now I'm gonna do Plow and shoulders, then make sure that you don't turn your head left and right like this when you are in plow, nor in shoulders, then that's not good for the neck. So I like to warm up a little bit. So grab the big toes and pull the head close, uh, the, the toes closer to the head. And the hip starts to lift up, it's fine. And so palms on the floor, inhale. And lift up and move the toes behind the head. Make sure you don't turn left and right here. Be careful. So we can stay here or bend the knee, uh, bend the elbows, knees, bend the elbows, and lift up the right leg and left leg. And hold. You can open them. Close. Be careful. Open. Close. Bend the knee and straighten. Let's do it slowly. And now move the feet, I mean the toes behind the head. Straighten the elbows and bring the hips down. But before you put it down, put the palms facing down under the hips. Straighten the right leg and the left leg, and we are going to counter stretch with a fish. So inhale. And move the elbows under the body, relax the head for a fish. This is the compresses the neck from the previous. And it actually feels good for my strained neck. And I lift up the head, take the elbows away, bend the knees, <clears throat> and hug down to the chest. Rock side to side. You know, let's do just a little more core today. Not much, just a little. So, lift up the knees. <coughs> and put the arms behind the head. So as we inhale, lift up the head closer to the knees. Hold. And back. Again, lift. Hold. And back. And again, left, forward, and back. And twice more. <laughs> lift, forward, and back. And once more. <laughs> lift, forward, and back. Okay, grab the knees, hug them to the chest, rock side to side. And let's just finish because I have to work today. So let's just sit up or turn to the right and sit up. 
Um, put the feet together closer to the hips now. And forward over for butterfly. Then straight on the left leg. The right one is against the left thigh. In here, arms up. And fold over the left leg. And up, switch legs, arms up, and fold over. And sit up, both legs are in the front, right one outside of the left. I usually bend the left leg if you don't have to, right arm is behind, left one pushing the knee away for the final twist. And turn, switch legs. This time the left one is outside of the right knee, right arm is pushing the knee away for the twist. The whole upper body moves, not just the head. And turn, both legs are in the front, arms out, slowly lie back down. One last time, hug the knees to the chest, rock side to side. Give yourself a big hug for taking this time just for yourself. But before I say goodbye, just one spinal twist. So left leg is on the floor, right one over the left. Move the knees to the left. Be careful, do it slowly and look over the right shoulder. 20 seconds here. And turn back, switch legs, knees go to the right, look over the left shoulder, do it slowly, how oh, it feels good. Alright, turn the knees back, uncross the legs, hug them to the chest, rock side to side. And straighten the right leg, left leg, palms up, take a deep breath. And as you exhale, release the tensions from the body. And sink into Shavasana. Uh, stay down for a few minutes. It's really good just to close your mind, you don't think about anything, just relax. A few minutes, it's always good after yoga. So, today is Wednesday, and uh, Jackie's on vacation, so I cut it short, and I have to work today anyway. So, I'll be back on Friday, 8.30 in the morning. Namaste, have a wonderful rest of the week. Weather-wise, it's supposed to be cooler today, but uh, the sun is already out, the fog went in, so I think we're going to have nice weather in the 70s probably. And I strained my neck weird way. Uh, I was working on a big monitor and my bifocal, so I had to put my head up like this to, for hours and hours, and now my neck hurts, so it's weird. Don't get old. Namaste. Thanks.